Right, for £100, Peter, have a look at this. Which legendary outlaw led a band of merry men and lived in Sherwood Forest? Robin Cook. <laughs> Robin Banks. Robin Hood. Or Robin Day. I think I'll risk C, Robin Hood. Nerves of steel, Peter. It's right, you got £100. <laughs> what was the title of Des O'Connor's 1968 chart topper? I pretend. I will survive. I can help. I can't sing. 50-50 uh, on this one. 50-50? Ask the audience. Ooh. Well, your knowledge of Des O'Connor. <laughs> okay, it's the right answer. Well done. You got two hundred pounds. <laughs> Which of these is a boxing injury? Tomato lip, mushroom eye, cauliflower ear, or cabbage nose? Say cauliflower ear. <laughs> it's right. You got a hundred pounds. <laughs> what were the first names of Laurel and Hardy? Sid and Eddie, Stan and Oliver, Bud and Lou, Norman and Gareth. B, Stan and Oliver. Sure. Yeah. Good, that's the right answer. You've got 200 quid. <laughs> Still got two last answers. <laughs> What's the name of the eggs laid by frogs and toads? Brawn, spawn, lawn, or scramble? <laughs> <laughs> they do get hard. <laughs> it's B, Chris. Sport. It's the right answer. You've got £100. <laughs> what does a vicar traditionally read in church prior to a wedding? Hey, that's spooky. Riot Act. <laughs> Bands. Tea leaves. <laughs> Sunday papers. It's your choice, Simon. I'll go for B, Bands. B, the Bands. It's good. It's the right answer. You've got £100. <laughs> Which of these is not a standard golfing term? Eagle. Albatross. Birdie, penguin. <laughs> D, penguin. Chris. D, penguin is the right answer for 200 quid. <laughs> Which animal is an essential feature of a polo game? Probably not too tricky. A pig, a horse, a monkey, or a sheep? I think I'll go with B. Horse. Be wise. Horse is the right answer, you've got 100 quid. <laughs> In which country is the TV soap Neighbours set? Australia, Brazil, China, or Wales? <laughs> She's very popular with this audience. <laughs> In which country is the TV soap Neighbours set? Australia, Brazil, China, or Wales? I'll go A, Australia. That's the right answer. You've got 200 quid. <laughs> when told that her people had no bread, Marie Antoinette famously remarked, let them eat sandwiches. Crisps, cake, or volleyballs? <laughs> What's the answer? I'll go C. C cake. cake's the right answer. Let them eat cake. Throw the quick. <laughs> Which of these is a swimming stroke used in competition? Caterpillar, ladybird, butterfly, or beetle? C, butterfly. That's the right answer. Don't let's worry. There's no trick questions. It's worth 100 quid. Which green vegetable do you associate with Popeye? Cabbage, lettuce, spinach, or marrow? Spinach. Not marrow. Spinach. Spinach. It's right answer. You got 300 quid. <laughs> Which professional would generally use a stethoscope? Solicitor, doctor, surveyor, or submarine commander? B doctor. B doctor's the right answer. You got 100 quid. <laughs> Which flowers are traditionally threaded together to make chains? Pansies, dandelions, daisies, primroses. Do you have a pansy chain? No, you have a daisy chain. Daisy see. chain? Final answer, see? Yep. Okay, it's good, you got 300 quid. <laughs> Which of these places reverted to Chinese control in 1997? You probably know this. See what comes up. USA? <laughs> oh, I don't think so. Sri Lanka? Hong Kong? Or the Golden Duck Takeaway? <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll play Chris. It's uh, C, Hong Kong. Hong Kong's the right answer. You've got 100 quid. 